On the 28th of September 1944, a German soldier was led to a firing range by American soldiers, and he was tied to a stake, and he was then shot and executed for being a spy. Throughout World War II, there would be many different men and women who were accused by their enemies of spying. If the Germans found someone who was accused of spying, they would be ruthless and would execute them quickly. Firing squads were used to execute spies during the conflict, and there were other stories of spies who had met horrific fates once captured. For example, a group of women had been arrested for spying and working alongside the French resistance, and these would be briefly sent to a concentration camp before that evening after their arrival, they were all burned alive inside of the crematoria in the camp. But torture was used to try and extract information, but whilst the war was going on, the Americans executed Stefan Cortaz, a 25-year-old soldier who was shot on the firing range for being classed as a spy and a danger to the Allied war effort. Join us today to look at the execution of the spy shot by the Americans, and as always to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Throughout the Second World War, the German army would, following heavy losses on the Eastern Front, use many different soldiers from the countries that they were occupying within their army. It came to the point where many men were being conscripted, despite the fact they were not native Germans, as things became very desperate following the losses sustained during Operation Barbarossa. The German forces became disrupted with people who were forced to join from lands not within Germany, but many were forced to do this under the threat of execution or being sent to a concentration camp, so morale with these soldiers was not the highest. Many people were forced to join the armies of those who invaded their country, and those who were considered the enemies of their people. Resistance groups were outraged and furious by this, and one country that brought a huge number of people into the German army was Poland. Around 90,000 Polish men were conscripted forcibly into the German army, and it was said that by D-Day, one third of the Polish soldiers in the West had at some point served inside of the German armed forces before. But one man who was from Poland, who saw action in the German army, was Stefan Kortaz, who was executed on the 28th of September 1944. It's believed that he would have served in the Polish army at some point, but following the occupation he was then drafted into service within the German army. He would have seen the German invasion of Poland that broke out, World War II in Europe, but he was a young man who would as the war went on, become one of the German forces, as the German numbers became depleted and he was forced to join the army of his initial enemies. But along with a teenager named Joseph Fender, Stefan Cortaz would be forced to carry out reconnaissance and spying on the Allied forces, and specifically the Americans, and this was dealt with ruthlessly by them. Stefan Cortaz was tasked with hiding out behind enemy lines and masquerading as a Polish slave labourer who was being forced to work. He was given a disguise and civilian clothing to hide out, and this was very important, as this would enforce the fact he was acting as a spy. This was because he was not found in enemy uniform, meaning that once he was caught, he could be executed for his role in spying and espionage. According to the Geneva Convention, soldiers in uniform who had been conducting espionage or spy work could not be executed, as they would be in clear uniform and markings of the enemy, they should have been taken as prisoners of war. It was clear that Josef Fender was conducting reconnaissance work, and that following finding out intelligence about locations of American units and soldiers, then he would then pass this information on to the Germans. This was pivotal, as it meant the Germans could then act upon this, and strike the Allied formations, and they would then try to push back different groups of Allied soldiers. The information which was being collected by men such as Stefan Cortaz was said to have been of vital importance to the Germans, as they would fight on during the last year of the Second World War. The German commanders relied on a steady stream of intelligence on Allied positions, from those living within enemy lines, and operating inside of it. It is debated whether Cortaz, once he was captured by the Americans, was wearing enemy uniform or not, but Cortaz would be dealt with very severely, but he, if he was in enemy uniform, would have clearly been a spy, and he would have been arrested by his enemies, so it's more probable that he was actually in civilian clothes, which was more dangerous. But locals would sometimes hand over the German spies to the Allies, with their intelligence and their knowledge. But alongside Josef Fender, Stefan Cortaz was captured by the Americans behind their own lines. They worked out that he was a spy, and had been posing as a Polish slave labourer, 
and at the time of his arrest he was 25 years old. Cortaz was working alongside the younger vendor, who was just 18, and when captured it's likely that Cortaz knew he would probably be executed for his work. The pair were captured near to the Mazel River, and the pair were to finish their spying assignment shortly after their capture, and they would then hopefully rejoin the German forces, then pass over their information, but the pair would be discovered. But on the 24th of September 1944, Cortaz was arrested. He was brought out in front of an American commission on suspicion of spying. There was some deliberation as to how severe the punishment should be. Especially for Vendor, who would just be a teenager when he was captured, but the two men had no mercy shown towards him. The pair were sentenced to death, and they were then held inside of an American military prison near to Toul in France. Cortaz remained here for some time to await his death and execution, and this must have been sheer torture, waiting for the firing squad to be assembled. But on the 28th of September 1944, Stefan Cortaz was told by American military policemen that he was to be executed, and that his time had come to an end, as his firing squad had been gathered. There was no appeal granted, and because of this he was led out to a firing range in an execution site, which was in the farmyard of a farmhouse in Toul. Cortaz was led out by military policemen, and he was also accompanied by a priest who was dressed in black. Cortaz was wearing a uniform, and in his final moments he looked terrified and horrified about what was going to happen. Little mercy was shown to his comrade, Vendor, who was just a teenager, but the priest spoke to Cortaz in his final moments, before he was told the time was now to execute. The priest prayed for him, and after this the firing squad made their way out, made up of American soldiers. The final preparations were made, and Stefan Cortaz was tied to a stake in front of a piled up number of hay bales to protect from ricochets, and his eyes were covered by a white cloth, so he could not see what was coming. Military policemen tied his feet together so he could not move, and then the firing squad aimed their rifles from a distance at the 25-year-old. They shot with their rifles straight, and instantly Cortaz was executed and killed, and he slumped forward. Following this, the lieutenant colonel in charge with a doctor inspected Cortaz's body and confirmed his death. He was then collected on a stretcher and was carried away. Stefan Cortaz was like a number of men who were conscripted into the German army, forced to fight for his enemies during the Second World War. He had maybe been given a more dangerous role by the Wehrmacht because he was Polish, but as he was in civilian clothing, this was enough for the Allies to ensure that he was executed for spying. There were many other spies who were executed in this way on the firing range, and more Germans would be executed for reasons like this. But the Americans did not spare anyone, and would execute Cortaz and his 18-year-old comrade alongside him. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.